Welcome back to Supremely Black Podcast. Now, if you're new, make sure that you subscribe. If you're uh, watching the video, make sure that you hit the like button. That shows that you actually like the conversation and the content that was provided for you today. So now what we're going to actually be talking about is the Title IX uh, ruling that came out on Friday. Title IX is actually the act that was put into place to, it's like Sex Protection Act in uh, schools and nationwide, things of that nature, right? Um, one of the key things that has been a really hot topic as of late is that with the protection that was put in by the Biden administration, um, certain states, if they didn't have any provisions or didn't push back on it, they had to allow athletes to compete under whatever they identified as. So if there was a woman that wanted to say she was a man, she could compete in man sports. If there was a man that says he identifies as a woman, then they could compete in women's sports. Now, there has been a huge outcry. There was a viral video. It's been a few of them now, but there was one that went out. I think it was like the state championship or a major uh, track competition. And one of the men that identified as a lady won the race. And she or he was met with a thousand, a lot of booze. Some people celebrated it. You can see that the defeat in the actual women competitors that he went up against. Now, I'm all about the protection, the Sex Protection Act, and making sure that people are feeling protected and can't just be messed with. The only thing that I don't agree with is that when you identify yourself as either a man or woman and you're picking to go either way. Now, if you're a woman trying to play football, you go out there playing against other young men and you get hurt, it should be any outcry in regards to, hey, how oh, she's only a woman, because if you want to say that you identify yourself as a man, you went out there and played the sport just like everyone else does. Football is a very dangerous sport. Injury can happen. Now, from a man's perspective, when you look at just from the stories that have went viral uh, from the races, any other competitions, and the men are just better than the women. But then when you look at their actual numbers that they put up against the women, yes, they actually beat them. But if you compare them to the other men that were competing in the same races, they would finish at the bottom of the barrel competing against other men. Now, I don't have any kids if my niece was going up against men and she was competing in track and she was the only girl, I would feel some type of way about that. I would completely understand of where parents would come from. I don't understand what the huge outcry because to me as if your kids are competing in sports, they should be going against their actual gender. They're, if there is any outcry in regards to the issue, there should be a league created for transgender athletes and allow them to compete against themselves. That's the only way to actually make it fair. But these kids are competing for college scholarships. Uh, you know, and they're not, everybody's not going to go pro. Everybody's not going to go college. So the, la the least thing that they could do is be able to enjoy the sports competing against people that's actually their gender. I don't, again, like I said, I don't understand what the huge outcry is. If it's going to be fair, you want it, uh, equality, allow the women to compete with women, men to compete with men, everything be fine. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think that this is something that should be overturned? Should they look at revising Title IX and allowing anyone to compete like i said the the protection of the sex discrimination all for but when it comes to competing and doing things like that going to the restroom knowing that you are done and that you're a man or a woman vice versa it just creates too many blurred and gray lines but hey let me know what you think as always long live cc i'm out